Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio sending supporters to space. And uh, I've started the Robot Worker Speed 6. Now that we have space science, it's chugging along slowly but surely. Uh, I'm loving the rocket parts uh, continue to just make. I think we may launch a second rocket just for the hell of it at some point. Um, but there's a few things I want to do this episode. The first of which is to start stocking up on electric furnaces. So we already have them made. What I'm going to do, is similar to what I did for the speed module ones over here, I'm just going to grab them off of here. Um, maybe. I don't like, like for the same reason that I didn't put this inserter right by this one is that sometimes it can steal from the from the guy that actually needs it so that's why I don't want to put it here I want to offset it or, or back it up a little bit so we're gonna go like that and he's only gonna grab furnaces I'm gonna stick them into the network or not need red circuits um which we apparently have none of what's eating all my red circuits Uh, green circuits and we don't have any green circuits because we don't have any of this and we don't have any of this because I'm not really sure why uh, I think like this entire thing maybe needs to be red belt for this to actually work because uh, I have a red split off here and it has some red splitters like in front of it but I guess if it's all yellow belt feeding into it I, I actually am not really sure what the hold up is here but we uh, we need more. So let me go grab some uh, belt. Here's some undergrounds, and then red belt. And grab a stack of that, and then let me make a splitter. Or I'd really like more gears. Thank you. Okay, so we have this guy here. And then I think, like, I'm hoping that if I just make all of this red, it should actually give me a full red line. Maybe. Uh, of course, if it's only inputting yellow from the get-go, it actually probably won't. So this <laughs> entire thing is just a waste, I'm guessing. But, you know, whatever. We'll see. Yeah, that doesn't really help, because it's now bottled neck by the yellow. Great. Um... I mean, it's working-ish. There's just, like, no circuits. and Which means there's no red circuits, which means our science is going to grind to a halt here very quickly, including our furnaces. Yeah, our furnaces are already just, like, dead. Um, well. I'm gonna set this to, like... Let's see, what do we want to set them to? Set them to less than, let's just say 50 for now. We obviously need more than that. Which is, is there already 50 in here? Somehow, oh, it's not in the network again. Oh, great. I need more red circuits. Our circuit problem is uh, really, really going to start to annoy me. Need more copper. I really don't want to red belt my whole copper setup, but it looks like I might have to. Like, I may have to do the same thing I did with the iron, which is going to be a massive pain. Either way, I'm not going to do it on camera, because that's going to be extremely boring. Uh, what we are going to do is do a little bit of rail designing, because once we start going into the bigger scales, we're going to need a lot more than just a two-lane system. Um, so, with that in mind... Okay, like, for real, what is happening? I, I changed my mind. <laughs> changed my mind completely. I think this actually just won't do anything. Um, hmm. Is this actually coming out of here fully balanced is the real question. I might try something silly. I think this is going to achieve the exact same thing that I'm doing. Yeah, it will. I was just going to send one of these entire lines this way, but it's pretty much just going to do what I'm already doing. Um... Part of what's eating my circuits, maybe, is I've turned back on robot frames. I bumped it up to 750. That may be eating some of my circuits. Uh, this should be done-ish. 
except not actually even close. Um, I guess we just ride it out, I don't know. It's a bit of a pain, our science was going so well. Uh, how about... This is just like, this is so painful. There's no, so this is coming in, it's going down, but it's not a full red ball, and I think it's because this is not, like, backlogged again. What I really need is I just need full red belt, but I don't want to mess with that. So let's just go, let's just go make rails. I'll just let the base chug along slowly in the process, um, in, but behind the scenes. So, um, we're going to do four rails first, and then we need eight rail system after that. I think I'm going to go with an eight rail system for the actual mega base, uh, but I think a four rail system wouldn't hurt because we may go to that first. We may do that in some places, and I think it would be easier, at least for me, to design uh, go from the two rail to the four rail and the four rail to the eight rail just like in a design aspect rather than just jumping from two to eight. Um, so I'm going to go, where is it over here? Let's go over to our things. Now I'm hoping, if I'm lucky enough, uh, we can kind of just use these. It's not going to work quite the same, but it, I mean, it, it will. We actually just need to move some power poles around, I think. Um, because if you, although for three, for four, I'm trying to think, <laughs> because, so here's the deal, and I don't know making much sense, it's because I, I'm, I don't make much sense in my head right now. So if we have this, right, like normally, like in space, uh, not SpaceX, uh, 015 sim, we had some eight, eight lanes, uh, places, right? And they had two gauge, and I think we spaced a two gauge between every single rail. I think? I don't remember, this seems quite large. Is, is that really what we did? I don't know. Or did we do it the other way? Because, I mean, you need room for signals. Now, if they're on the inside in left-hand drive, it makes it easier. But I'm wondering, why couldn't I... Because this is... So my system is actually three space. So let's do that. All right, so this is like our two-lane system now. Instead of putting three space again... Why would I, why would it not work to just do like this? To just do two space, or like one space in between each set, right? You know, so this would be our four lane system. Uh, in terms of which ones go which direction, because see, that's the thing. Typically, I think, yeah, you don't alternate, usually. Like, that would just be a death trap, <laughs> which I'm sure you guys want to see, but I would prefer not to do that. Uh, you don't go, because right here, this would be like this way, this way, and then if you alternated, it would be this way again, and then this way, and that just seems like an absolutely terrible idea. Because, uh, like, what you would normally do for something like this is that, like, these top two go, this is for right-hand drive, go this way, and then these bottom two go this way. Uh, if you do eight lane, it's going to be double this. Now this is the one advantage to left hand drive. I could have put a rail here uh, because I don't need signals on the outside. But for right hand drive, we have to leave a space in here for our signals to be on the outside. Now I could do the same principle, right? I mean, this could be, these four could go east to west and this is for an eight lane system. Um, and then this, and then we do our three space. One, two, three, three, like that. And then and then I'm um, already lost. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Um, so there's that. And then another space. And then like that. So this way, let me just separate it with like a red belt or something. Okay. So these top four would go east to west. And then these bottom four would go west to east. That's one way to do it. It conserves space. Uh, the other way to do it is just to put three wide spacing between every single rail. And I'm not sure which way is best. And I'm trying to remember like what we did in the 015 sim or what other systems do. Because part of me is saying that they are just the same spacing between all of them. And I think that's right. It just makes it, especially with this three wide spacing, this makes it absolutely huge. Um... Let's, let's contrast. 
And I mean, this is part of the rail design. You guys said you wanted to see it on screen. So, I mean, please don't hesitate to let me know if you don't want to see this. Because, I mean, this is what it is. <laughs> this is it. It's me thinking, theory testing, and um, changing my mind over and over again. So, I would understand if you didn't want to see this. Because, you know, it may not be the most entertaining thing ever. Okay, so that's three spacing. So, one, two, three, four, three, four, if I could count. Um, and then like that and that okay so there you go that's the contrast uh so this one you know would go like this and they'd all be the same space and it'd still be the top four going east to west and then these bottom four going the opposite direction west oh, west to east and i feel like this is more of what you would do uh the other option is to split the difference. Um, and yes, I, say, I told you, I'm just going to be changing my mind over and over again. You know, that's part of what it is. Instead of putting like the two space here and then another two space or one space here, I could have this. Sorry, I had a yawn. Um, and then and then do this. And this kind of just differentiates, right? The uh, top and bottom sets, I guess. One, two, three, four. So it's one too high. So, oh, we did finish it finally. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on research for a minute because I'd like our circuits to actually work. Um, so there's that and then three, four. So this is what that option would look like. It kind of differentiates like, you know, these are the top four and these are the bottom four. Uh, but that makes, I think you would want them even spacing because of junctions. Yeah, you would. Yeah, that just settles that. And I know you guys are probably yelling at me this whole time, like, Sturm, you idiot. You know, you need them, you need them that, you know, even spacing for the junctions. What the hell are you thinking? Um, I know there's people yelling at me. Uh, yeah, because when you, like, do this, um, it makes junctions either impossible or absolutely, <laughs> absolutely uh, just painful to make. Right, because if you come through and you need a junction, these are spaced differently, which is just going to throw everything off. Uh, so we're going to go with the other one. We're going to go with the. Um, going to go with just the three space between all of them. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just big. Um, you know, it's just it's a lot of space. But really, you know, it's not like we're really limited on space. And I think it's just awesome. I mean, if you're going to build a gigabase. You might as well make everything big. And this looks off. Is this really? So many spaces look bigger. <laughs> okay, so that's that's what our eight lane would look like. And now, in terms of the signaling, it should be straight, pretty straightforward. Uh, now, people, when I did my two lane system, people commented about like the rail spacing, like the signal spacing, and there was kind of both views. Uh, some people said that I should have them as long as two of my longest trains and then some people said that I should actually have them like half as long so that trains can go through quicker and have more throughput and it's like well you know I can't do both um well I could do both but then it would just accomplish like the same thing <laughs> uh or just you know what I mean so in terms of our signaling uh because with our two lane system I signaled right for uh 242 in between now both both people are kind of correct, uh, or both parties of people rather. Having your rail, you're having your signals closer together, I feel could create some issues, but it does create higher throughput because it means that a train leaves, uh, you know, the blocks are smaller, which means that like it, when, a, when a train pulls forward, the train behind it can move quicker than if the blocks are bigger, right? Because the train ahead of it would have left a, a block sooner since the block is smaller. Um, however, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. I feel like just, I still feel like a good rule that doesn't hurt anything necessarily, except maybe limit throughput a little, but also prevent possible issues is to have your signals spaced the size of your longest train. Um, I don't think I want them bigger than that because then that just really hurts throughput. Uh, I, I feel like... 
I could do them half the size, but that kind of gets weird. Of course, I'm going to be running like 310 3 ore trains. That's what I've decided. So, <laughs> uh, spacing them 16 train like sections apart is going to be a little bit extreme. Um, the good the, the good news is actually um, if actually 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 okay I just had an epiphany <laughs> which you guys probably already had but um, if I did do the method of having the signals space like half the length of my longest train I could actually use the same signaling I have now I think because uh, a 3103 is 16 um, like train sections right uh, and the signaling I have now is space for a 242, which is eight train sections. So it is half as long. So, so, I think I could just stick with the signaling, couldn't I? I mean, there's one way to test. We just, uh, we, we just do this. Now, I will move power poles because I definitely do not need power poles in every single <laughs> space between lines. I mean, you know there's a point where too much redundancy becomes a thing uh, so if we do this uh, this would be essentially I mean it would obviously be eight lanes but in terms of spacing I'm not I don't actually have enough stuff I need to go grab some more stuff and then we're gonna end this episode probably um, but what I'm looking for is I want to make a you know a 3103 equivalent length and see if it does actually work how I'm hoping it would work. And now that science has stopped, you know, this stuff should really be, you know, turning on. That'd be great. Um, so what do we need for more of these? Steel. Well, luckily steel is not something we're short on. So I have five. I'm gonna need, that's 14. And uh, 16, I think. Okay, so there's that. We are slowly kind of making up our circuit loss a little bit. Yeah, yeah, guys, thanks for bringing me my stuff. Now, stop following me. Uh, okay, so we're going to make the equivalent of a 3103 and see how this works with the spacing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like I said, don't hesitate. If you don't want to see this stuff, let me know because you said you wanted to, but I mean, this is what it's gonna be. And I, I don't know how entertaining this is. Uh, so there's that. So, should actually just not do it that way. Let's do it from this way. Okay, so, if he's like, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And if we did that, and then this was a straight, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. And now there would be a signal halfway through, but that, damn, these are huge trains. Holy shit. <laughs> Again, excuse my language. I'm sorry, but oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Like, can you just, can you guys imagine? And I mean, this, well, you don't have to imagine at some point because this is what we're going to do. This size of a train on rocket fuel with like a hundred of these going through our system. Holy hell. I'm not going to be able to move a damn inch. I, uh, this is gonna be terrifying. This is ridiculous. Like you don't, like a 3103 sounds big, right? But you don't realize how big it is until you place the damn thing on a track and you're like, holy hell, you know, this is like half the length of my bus. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, three of these on each side would obviously be locomotives, but uh, this would work good. In fact, this just makes the whole process way easier. Now, it doesn't, like, actually, uh, well, there's some, I don't know, there are some disadvantages. Part of the thing is, uh, the more rail blocks you have, uh, the more performance intensive it is. And having these extra signals here does add up very quickly in terms of adding more rail blocks. So one advantage to getting rid of these middle ones and having the signals actually spaced fully to a 3103 would be that you're essentially cutting the amount of rail blocks you have in half. Which does make a difference. If like on our 015 sim map, we had some ridiculous amount, like I think like 10,000, 20,000 rail blocks on our map, like in our map or something, was something absurd. 
And that definitely contributed to performance. And I mean, we've talked to our seating and stuff. And I mean, you know, the devs have confirmed, you know, that is something that once you get to really high numbers will decrease your performance, you know, when you just have thousands upon thousands of rail blocks. Um, so that's a, that's a bit of an issue. I'm not really sure what to do in terms of that. Like, it, I don't know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And I may discuss with people in my Discord. I mean, I don't really see it that is that bad of just having the entire, like the, the thing be a full space of 3.10.3 and just getting rid of these middle ones. Um, I really don't see that as being that big of an issue. Of course, you know, throughput will be lower because it has to make, and this is actually a good example before I end this episode. This is why throughput would be worse without these metal signals because let's just say there's a train, uh, you know, back here, right? And let's just say there's a signal across from this where there would normally be one if I tile this. Um, this train is going to be stopped at this signal, right? But he cannot move, he cannot continue forward until the end of this train, until this guy right here passes this signal, and this is if we don't have these middle ones, okay? So this train back here has to wait the entire time it takes for the end of this to get past this signal before he can even move, even though there's plenty of space to do so. Um, with these middle signals, it's essentially half that, because as soon as he passes this signal, this rail block is free between this signal and this end signal, and this guy can then move and move forward. And then, you know, once the end of the train passes this signal, he can continue forward through here. And these bugs are gonna get, oh, he killed a station. Oh, that is, oh, he's in my base. Holy hell. That's it. Someone's getting nuked. So yeah, that's the deal. I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know how much performance. I may have to uh, ask our seating or somebody and confirm um, performance issues with rail rail blocks, rail segments. Um, and that would probably help make my decision. You know, if it's not like super, super bad, I would prefer the higher throughput. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we are going to have thousands upon thousands of these you know, rail blocks, rail segments, and they killed my station, you little shit. What a pain, man. And this is now, oh, it remembered. Oh, that's awesome. It did remember. Sweet. All right. Anyway, guys, this is a good end of the episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.